So, good afternoon. Uh, there. You know, I make a lot of videos, and I call it how I survived the 80s, but I don't talk about too much how I survived the 80s, how I really do it. And you know what? I've never been this old, so I don't really know how. <laughs> I just do. But I want to tell you some of the things that I do do that I think help. I make lists, and I have schedules, and that helps. I know what I'm going to do on Monday and on Tuesday and certain things, not all day, but I have a routine, and, and that's comfortable, and that helps. And then I have a list of things to do when I'm done with the things that I have to do. Like I can knit, or I can read, or things like that, or deadhead, or, or different things. So that helps. And then, believe it or not, I love timers. I just do. So, and you've seen me turn off timers. But after lunch today, I was just sort of wiped out. And I thought, I'd just love to take a nap. But I'll spend, I'll put my timer on for five minutes and clean as much as the kitchen after our meal as I could. So at the end of five minutes, I could see if I just had a few more minutes, I could finish. So I set it for six minutes and I was finished. And, uh, or as much as I was going to do. Anyway, all of those things really help. And they're good. And uh, you sort of have to learn to roll with the punches, you know. Your body changes. Different things just change. Your life, your world gets smaller. And I, I want to thank you. I am thankful for all of you out there that that watch me on YouTube and and it just cheers me up. I have an East Coast friend, more than one, and they tell me good morning. And that just makes my world a lot bigger. And I've got Canadian, my Canadian friend, and my Tasmania, and I never even knew where it was. Now I do. And I know it it's awfully cold and stays long springs in Canada. And just things I've learned in, and, and the friendship, and it's made my world just bigger. And I, I love watching Jim and Renda get established in their new place. Oh, moving is not easy. But I used to love to unpack. That was my big thing. When we first moved here, everything went boxes in this room. It was just amazing. And a neighbor across the street came and helped us. And we put everything in here. And I can remember working almost until the wee hours of the morning to get stuff put up and away. And we've learned over the years, too, when we moved, when we moved, our dressers were full of stuff that could be breakable because you we layered them between. I mean, we didn't empty drawers. They were boxes that we could pack in. And so that's what we did. But, and then I would have Tom go around and we'd nail up pictures. <laughs> And I'd tell him where I wanted him. And anyway, I'm glad I think, I don't know, who knows what's going to happen next. We don't. We just have to learn to adjust. And God has blessed our life. And life is good. Another thing, I have to, I, I've had this a philosophy for a long time that I am responsible for my health. The doctor isn't. I am. And 
I can remember years ago, I did take blood pressure mes medicine because my blood pressure can run a bit too high. Anyway, I was taking it and I would read all the bad things about it and I wanted to get off and I went to my doctor, I talked about it and he told me how to do it, that I cut down the dosage a little at a time and he said, you know, I won't see you after this. And, and he was like a good friend. We even had him for dinner. Well, no, we didn't have, we invited him for dinner. We had something else for dinner. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. Okay, uh, then, but, and he was right. I can't remember seeing him ever after that. And it's been years since I've done taken any kind of medicine. I think medicine is for the young. But I try real hard to feed us good food. And that's what I aim for. And I can do it fine in the morning. I can do it fine in the middle of the day. From then on, it's sort of... It's not that we eat junk food. No, no, I'm not saying that. But not necessarily um, a real meal. We will eat leftovers, we'll eat, oh, oh um, maybe breakfast type food again, but I won't really cook three times a day, two times, good. And I like to make sure that we have, oh, fermented foods, uh, Cold cereal, I haven't seen a box in cold cereal in years, in years. Um, what else processed food? I haven't eaten a potato chip in years. C cereal, uh, I don't know. Um, I think the biggest processed food I have right now is I've got two cans of evaporated milk in my cupboards thinking someday I may make a pumpkin pie for Tom. He'd love one. And someday I will. Lord willing. And the cricks don't rise. So anyway, I'm, I'm learning how to survive the 80s. I'm learning how to live in it. And I'm, I'll just go each day, one day at a time and that's how. But also, you have helped me, and I thank you for that. So, I think with that, I'll just say good afternoon, and this is how I survived the 80s.